Today in the Quadratech Academy, we're going to show you how to take your rear bumper off. Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. You know, a great way to add some functionality as well as capability to your Wrangler is to replace that factory rear bumper with an aftermarket bumper. Now that can offer a ton of different advantages like better departure angles as well as the ability to carry an oversized spare tire. But before we can mount up an aftermarket bumper, we're going to have to get that factory style bumper out of the way. Today, I'm going to show you just how to do that. Now it's only going to require a few tools to do the job. We're going to be using our shop lift just to make it easier for us to show you how to gain access to the bolts that you'll need to be loosening, but you can do the job just as easy at home in your driveway. Now we are going to be taking the spare tire off to make lifting the bumper out of the way a little bit easier. So to start, we're going to need a three quarter inch socket. We're going to be using an impact wrench. You can use your favorite wrench to get that spare out of the way. Next, we're going to need a three eighths drive ratchet as well as a shallow well 16 millimeter socket to loosen the bumper bolts. Now, if your Jeep came equipped with a hitch, you're gonna need an 18 millimeter open end wrench. I like to use a ratcheting style wrench. It's just gonna make your life a little bit easier. And then finally, to remove that tow hook, you can use that same 18 millimeter wrench or you can use an 18 millimeter socket with your 3H drive ratchet. So we're gonna go get started by getting that spare tire out of the way. Now our Wrangler happens to have a Quadratech Versa hitch installed, but the removal procedure for both the Versa hitch as well as the standard two inch hitch receiver are exactly the same. Now to start, if you've got a retaining clip here for your wiring harness, you wanna go ahead and remove that first. Now we're gonna to need to access four bolts that hold the hitch to the rear cross member and they're right behind the hitch here in front of the muffler. And this is where we're gonna be using our 18 millimeter wrench and that ratcheting wrench is gonna make our life a lot easier. Now that we've got the hitch out of the way, we need to go ahead and remove these two bolts that attach the bumper to the side of the frame rail right behind your rear tire here. Now there's gonna be two on the passenger side as well as two over on the driver's side. And to do that, we're gonna grab our 3 8 ratchet along with our 16 millimeter shallow well socket. We can remove those two bolts. Now the remaining four bolts attaching the bumper to your Jeep are gonna be located on the back side of this rear cross member here. You might have seen them while you were removing your hitch. Now there's two mounting tabs, one on the driver's side and one on the passenger side here. There's a bolt that attaches that mounting tab to the cross member and a bolt that attaches the tab to the back side of the bumper. And this is where that shallow 3 8 drive 16 millimeter socket comes in handy. It allows us to squeeze back up in here and get those bolts out of the way. Once we remove those, we can go ahead and lift the bumper out of the way. And that's all it takes to get the rear bumper off of your Wrangler. Now, the last thing we're gonna to do today is to go ahead and remove that rear tow hook. A lot of aftermarket bumpers require the removal of the tow hook if your Jeep came equipped with it so that you can install your new bumper. And to do that, you can use that same 18 millimeter wrench that we used to get the hitch off, but I actually prefer an 18 millimeter socket with my ratchet. The handle's a little bit longer, just gonna give you a little bit more leverage to get these bolts out because they're gonna be in there pretty good. Now, if you have any questions for us on how to remove the rear bumper hitch or tow hook from your Wrangler, well, you can leave those for us right in the comments section below, or you can contact us directly at any of the options you see on the screen. And if you haven't already, you wanna make sure you hit that subscribe button so you'll be sure to catch all of our latest videos. Until next time, I'm Rob, I'll see you out on the trail or right here in the Quadratech Academy.